Hello everybody, it's Blue Hearted Embryon here, and today I'm going to be talking you know, and, and having a discussion about the newest ending song for um for the Pokemon X and Y anime. So I'm gonna be having a discussion about the 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 newest one and th there have been quite a few ending songs at the moment. There is currently four. There is um Currently, this this newer one is currently used. First one was I'm not sure what the name of it was, but Pikachu was jumping between two electronics. So it was pretty cute. And then after that was one of my favorites, which was Peace Be Smile. And then after that, which is the the one that most people like, which is Dory Dory Serena Sleem, and the fourth one, which is this newer one, which I have to say is De definitely my favorite of the animations, but I'm not sure. The The song is a toss-up between this one and Peace Be Smile, because I love Peace Be Smile song. But the animation on that was... I like the animation, but I love this one even more. So, so the, the song, the actual song is a toss-up between this one and Peace Be Smile. And I'll leave, leave a link to all the um, Pokemon X and Y ending themes down below but today we're focusing on the newest newest one which is like gal gal stars or uh, something like that I, I never remember how to pronounce it but it's this one is really cute definitely my favorite animation and it's adorable so basically we're going to be reviewing it and if you'd like to watch along with me like I said I'll be leaving links in the description to all of the ending songs and then you can watch the newer ending song along with me, and we'll be having a discussion about it. So, I'm sorry I could not put them in the video, but I'll probably get copyrighted and whatnot. So, I'll just leave links into the description. So, yeah, go ahead and check them out. So, the first thing that we need to, we need to discuss. Oh my word. I was so hyped when I saw this. Ladies and gentlemen, if you can see on the screen now, there is going to be an Eevee in X and Y. Oh my gosh. Wow, just wow. I was super hyped when I saw this, and basically how I found out about this was I was actually watching uh, a video from one of these guys called KG Prestige. I'm not sure if you've heard of him, but he's a he has a pretty good channel, so go check him out. So... Uh, I was watching one of his videos, and he said the he, he saw an Eevee in the ending song, and I was like, what? So, uh, I went ahead and checked the ending song out, and, oh, uh, I was so, so excited, because I saw an Eevee right there with my very own eyes, and I was so, so happy. So, an Eevee is actually going to be joining the X and Y gang, I believe, um, now, there's been a lot of discussion about this, you know, wh whose it is and what it's going to evolve into. Um, personally, the, the standout two options for me is, so wh who's the owner of the CB? Now, it's a toss-up between Serena and Ash, but it's most likely Serena because, you know, the, she's entering Pokemon showcases slash tri um, and really I think Sylveon will be... An Eevee evolving into a Sylveon would be really good for that, but it's almost certain that it's going to evolve into Sylveon. I mean, it's X and Y, so I don't think it will be evolving into anything else. But, you know, I think Sylveon would be great for her to enter a contest in, and I think Eevee definitely should evolve into Sylveon, because I don't think there's any other choice, really. I mean, it, it, if the writers choose a different evolution, I'll be pretty surprised. I mean, I, I would definitely accept it. I, I would be okay with any other evolution, but I think Sylveon is really a standout one. I mean, it, it's X and Y, so it's it's highly likely. But you know that you, you don't you never know what the writers are gonna do with this animation. You know you never know you know what in what evolution they're gonna choose and whatnot. So. So, it's all up to them, really, so I'm very excited to see what Serena slash Ash will choose, because, t to be honest, I don't think Bonnie is actually going to get another Pokemon, because, 
you know, Dedenne is really classic, actually, I have to say. Dedenne is really uh, a classic one that's been with them for a while. I don't think that bon Bonnie could really have another Pokemon besides Dedenne, because f for me, just Dedenne just suits her perfectly. Um, Clement, uh, I think he has enough Pokemon for now. I, I, it will be s strange because he already has a Luxray, which is from Sinnoh, and having like if if Clement gets it, there's almost every single in every single way he is going to evolve into Jolteon, and uh, I don't think he needs uh, a Pokemon from a different region. I think he he should get some Kalos Pokemon. So. Yeah, and I, I I doubt that he would evolve into Sylveon. Ash is a possibility because he could, you know, ha have it because it's Carlos and whatnot. And uh, it would be pretty cool to see him with Sylveon. But really, I think Zarina is the front runner, and Sylveon, Zarina, and Sylveon are the two front runners here. Next up is this part where we see a Noibat, and so this Noibat, um, oh, uh, this is really sad to say, but, well, my lord is going to be released. Ladies and gentlemen, in Pokemon X and Y, episode 70, Gudra will be, will officially be leaving the team, and... Uh, oh, this is so sad, and, uh, I want Lord Gudra back, I miss him already, but instead we're getting a Lord Gudra replacement. We are getting ourselves a Noibat, and, well, it's pretty likely Ash will be getting this one, because I don't think it would be suiting anyone else, and, you know, Noibat wouldn't suit anyone else, and... If he has a Noivern, that would be cool, but he's now going to have quite a few flying types. He's got he's got Fletchinder, Halucha's flying type, and now he's getting Noibat, who's also part flying type. He's flying in Dragon, I think. So, it would be pretty cool if he evolves into Noivern, though, because Noivern is one of the better looking Dragon types, I have to say. He's really, really, you know, he... He kicks some ass, Noivern does, and it would be really cool to see Noivern in the t on the team. I mean, it'd be annoying that it's with Ash because you know Ash doesn't deserve Noivern, but you know I'd still love a Noivern anyway. So uh, I doubt anyone else will be getting this Noibat but Ash. But you know I'll be okay with anyone else. But really, you know Ash is highly likely because he'll be down to four Pokemon and that, that that'll be pretty interesting to see because he'll be down to four and so that I'm not even sure if that's happened before I mean well he should really go down to four because he's kind of the main character really I mean again he doesn't deserve to be the main character but you know it's pretty weird to see a main character actually go down to four Pokemon, so I'm pretty sure we'll be catching Noibat soon. And I also think that we'll be catching Serena, well, I'm just gonna say it's Serena's Eevee for now, but I'm pretty sure Serena will be catching Eevee soon, because they are approaching, um, uh, was it Loveridge? I'm not even sure where it is now. I haven't played X and Y in ages. Um, no, Lava Ridge is Flattery's town. What am I thinking? That's in Hoenn. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. I'm being a bit delusional right now. I'm mixing up regions. Well, um, whatever, whatever city um, the gym leader Valerie is in, um, that is where they're going next, and Valerie has a Sylveon, so, yeah, and this E is likely going to be evolving its Sylveon, so I'm pretty sure they'll be catching it soon, so, yeah, and I'm also, I'm not sure about Noibat, though, I'm not sure when Noibat's actually going to come, but definitely before the movie, though, um, Eevee and Noibat are definitely becoming before the movie, that, that's one thing that's just about certain, I mean, like, that they wouldn't release them in the ending song if they wouldn't 
if they weren't coming before the Hoopa movie. So, yeah, I have a feeling that they'll be coming before the movie. And also there is another thing to note, which is, the, the final thing to note is that there is a Gorgeist. And now, th this is strange because Jesse is a Pumpkaboo, and this is obviously Jesse's Pumpkaboo evolving into Gorgeist. Or is it James's Gorgeist? Yeah, that's right. I'm. The, you see, Gorgeist evolves from Pumpkaboo via trade, so maybe Jesse actually traded her Pumpkaboo, and then James got a Gorgeist, and then Jesse actually got James's Inke. Which would be really strange. And that, that, that would be crazy. So. I don't really know how this is going to work, but it's probably to do with James and whatnot because of the fact that, you know, if if Jesse traded with anyone else, then the the, the Gorgeist would be leaving Team Rocket, but it's still there as a Gorgeist. So I have a feeling that it's some, definitely something to do with, you know, James trading over his Inke or something, but... Uh, they they could have traded back, and then, and then Jesse would have got Gore Ice back. But I don't know. Maybe James actually did get a Gore Geist. That that would be pretty weird, though. I have to say. So, uh, I'm not too sure what's going up with that Gore Geist. But it's pretty interesting to see it is actually going to evolve, since you know Gore Geist evolves from Public Boo by a trade. So, I'm not sure how this is going to work out. But we'll just have to wait and see. But I have a feeling it's coming pretty soon. Because in Japan, um, soon-ish, there's going to be a Haunted House, house episode, and, you know, Gorgas is kind of a spooky Pokemon and whatnot, so it, it, it's likely that they will, you know, evolve it in that episode, so, yeah. Well... I'm sorry for the long wait and, you know, the long discussion, but I hope you enjoyed it. And, well, if you have any, you know, thoughts on this trailer, no, not a trailer! Um, ending song. Jeez, I always say trailer. Um, well, if you have any thoughts on this ending song and you have any more, you know, analysis on it and more coverage and more stuff that you think you know, then go ahead and post it in the comments. So, thanks all so much for watching, and I will see you later in my next video. Goodbye!